welcome back as you see uh, the installation is complete uh, so now we'll check the installation if everything is okay the first thing we can do is we can uh, uh, check the connectivity uh, by running interactive SQL and see if we can connect with the database so here you go uh, the other program there is a configuration utility uh, this is is another uh, tool here that would be BS Edit. And the other thing you can do, uh, which is easier, however, uh, you cannot uh, ignore iSQL or this interactive SQL. Um, other thing you can do is Uh, you can go to Internet Explorer and go to HTTP uh, node 2 which is my host name this is the default port that uh, I use and then you go Sybase Control Center SCC and hit enter and it's gonna probably ask for flash player so we're gonna get a flash player first I'm gonna download it uh, I don't want this should not take very long so I'm gonna install the file I'm gonna just run it We'll wait uh, for the installation to complete it's gonna take about say five minutes here you go so the installation has started 50% complete I don't want it to check updates. So we'll have to wait until this uh, installation is complete. Um, we can check some other stuff while the installation is going on uh, it has this server configuration utility that you can use to create another um, instance installation of the server cyber server so I'm gonna exit that uh, and finally the installation is complete so I'm gonna just close this one I don't want to do that and uh, once again I'm gonna go HTTP colon double backslash node 2 8282 and here you go this is a service control center so for the first time you will need to do SCC admin then use the password that you specify during the installation and as you can see um, we have the Sybase Control Center enabled uh, you have to go to the resource to register your uh, server uh, I'm gonna put this because this is my Sybase server name 
I can use either uh, local post name or I'll probably use the the host name, the server name, and the default port was five thousand. I'll put C and my SC password. I'm gonna add it here and I'm gonna open the explorer to view this new new resource. So hopefully it's it's gonna connect. And here you go. And it is still doing the configuration as you can see it is still there's a clock icon. So I'll just close this one and the easiest way would be if you go to the side base instance and go to the administrate administration console and you will be able to see uh, your server here so now as you can see we have schema objects databases user databases and these are my two um, sample databases that i um, that were installed or created during installation so um, that's pretty much it. You can, you know, uh, you can do some, uh, you know, administration from here. But I would prefer if you do it uh, from a command line. Um, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, have a nice day.